Hello, this is Rebecca here with Create with Rebecca, and today I'm back with a little bit different video. I'm back with a haul that I had at the Daiso store, D A I S O. I've been pronouncing it Daiso, Dazo, and so I actually went onto YouTube and asked for the pronunciation so that I would say it right, and they say it's Daiso. I think that's correct, but it's the Japanese um, store that has come to Texas and we're all excited, all of us stationary addicts. And um, I was up in Fort Worth because my son was going up to school in that direction and all the stores here in Texas are up in that area. So I was excited to stop in and finally get to go in and I have to say it was the cleanest, neatest store. I have dollar store type place I had been in and I can't wait to go back again because I kind of felt a little overwhelmed and I wanted to buy all the things but I was trying to limit myself so I wouldn't just be like spending a hundred dollars at the dollar store and buying things. So I want to do a quick video of what I purchased and um, to show you. So I guess I'll start out with um, I bought these because you know I make junk journals so I bought a lot of stuff that I can stick it within those junk journals and this is just a package of ruled index cards they're just your regular lined um, index cards but the reason I bought them is because I really like the colors and I can take these out real quick but um, I wanted to tell you I, I, we bought a lot of little lunchbox type stuff one for school for my daughter and also um, it was just cute stuff I mean it was just and I have to say it was it was well made I mean to me it wasn't like a lot of flimsy little items that sometimes you would see at the dollar store and um, we've already been using a lot of stuff for her first day of school so I just love the color of these index cards and I thought they would be great addition to just kind of add to um, some of the junk journals that I create um, the next thing I bought was this whole mess of uh, these are little envelopes and so I opened up this one while we were driving because I wanted to kind of excuse the scratchy I mean the noise of the packaging but I wanted to kind of see the feel it's almost like it's a handmade paper it's very um, very thick I love the way it feels um, these are cute little cherries um, envelopes there's not a sealant I don't think on here so that's good and I thought these would also go good like sticking inside a junk journal you can put a message in there um, I got these little um, flower ones a larger size flower one and these look like little um, it's a cross between ornaments bowling balls and I'm not sure not bowling balls but the bowling pins so but I just like the little cute uh, the baby blue color and then this is another larger envelope that has these little it's red with these little uh, white type daisy flowers the next thing I got was this set of hedgehog stationery and I'm kind of debating whether to keep it for myself or actually I'm thinking about giving it to another friend of mine for um, for maybe Christmas or something like that but it basically came with envelopes uh, little hedgehog stickers and then of course the little paper and they had it's real that nice smooth thin paper um, they had a lot of cute sections they had like polar bears and little monkeys and porcupines and on this end cap it just seemed like everywhere you turned there was just something cute and I had to actually put a few items back because I just thought I was going totally crazy these are bought for a friend of mine. These are cute little um, sponge um, cleaners. And I just thought they were so adorable because they have a little smiley face on them. The second thing, or another thing I bought, more than this, the second thing, but these are little um, correctional tape, cute cat correctional tape. And believe me, I've been wanting to tear into these because I wanted to see exactly how they worked. So it seems like you just kind of pull it out here and I'll use this little piece of since you it'll show up oh yeah perfect and then you have your little correction um, correction tape but it's in this cute little cat 
cl closure. I don't think it doesn't hold a lot of correctional tape, but especially for like if you want to carry some in your purse or in your bag, that would be an ideal thing for that. Okay, and then these are part of that little end cap that I saw. These are little, um, they look like they're little stickies. I may just cut this because it's kind of, that one area is pretty sticky over there. And um, these look really cute. I thought they could be added to a journaling page. And you can like make a little, um, I want to tear one off here. Like kind of like do a little, you know, a little saying up above or something like this. But it's just little sticky, it's a sticky note. And you know how some sticky note pads like kind of leave a residue? These are actually don't feel like they do that. They're a real nice, um, nice little, ed not so sticky where it leaves, you know, that kind of itchy, that, I want to say it's itchy sticky, but it's like a, a sticky type, um, residue on your, on your post-its. And this is another uh, little set of envelopes. They have a little frog on them and they're just really tiny, but they're that same little type envelope with the lip, um, fold. And then I did already open these, um, these are a these are actually little binder clips and they come in with this little tin. I'm not going to open this one because this is actually going to be a gift since I already opened the other one because I'm actually already using the binder clips but um, yeah they're just little binder clips that you can open and put in this little container and either add it into your desk or your um, you know purse or something like this. Now this is not mine, this is my daughter's. Um, I just wanted to show you how cute it was. I, I actually had one of these that my son had bought a while back. It was Hello Kitty. I have no idea where it is now, um, but this one's a little bit different. It has these little hooks that come out on it that I think you could either probably like hold it onto a plastic um, bin or something like that. But each side opens up. You can see her, she already has her pens and her little eraser in there. but. It has a little magnetic closure and this side also opens up and has a magnetic closure. I know she tried to put her pencils in here because this little um, this little container comes up like this. I think she was actually putting it in like this. I might tell her. Oh yes, that's a better idea. I'm going to tell her because she's like, they don't fit. But if you put the tip of the pen pencil down, it actually does fit in there. I have to tell her that because she was she was kind of upset that her pencils did not fit. Let's see if these will fit over there for her. I love the she already sharpened her pencils and I love the smell of sharpened pencils. Am I the only one that likes that smell? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, she'll be so excited. And then it has a little pencil sharpener on this side um, that I think you can. Oh yeah, you open it up like that. I bet it kind of slides out to clean it. And then on the Hello Kitty, I know it had all sorts of little gadgets and gadgets that were part of the pencil case, but this is pretty cute, and I love the idea that it hangs. And I also bought this journal for a friend of mine. She loves grid, and she owns a llama, so I thought that would be like a cute little um, additive or put it into a Christmas present or something like that. So I got her this little llama journal. And then I also bought this little cute container of paper clips. And these are just your regular, but they're regular, you know, coated tiny paper clips. But I just thought the container was so cute. Even the lady that was checking me out, she's like, oh, this is so cute. And so I thought it was, even when the paper clips are all done, it, it you can put more paper clips in there or anything else and uh, this little stuff I know you've seen these little dancing frogs I thought I had a little bit more stuff I know I had washi um, to show you let's see if I can go find that okay sorry about that I knew I had some more things um, I also got this cute little um, pencil case bag my daughter actually picked it up for me and she said mom you would love this and so I just thought it was really cute and of course who can have too many pencil bags but um, I just think that face on there is so cute and I love the blue with the red and white striped and 
Let's see here. This is also part of that end cap that had all the bears and the porcupine items on it. And these are little messages. And these are so cute because they have this little funk, this little cat with attitude is what I like to think. But you can easily like pop it onto a page and put a note. Let's see. Like that, a little message. Isn't that cute? So I just thought that was really a little cute design. And I think there's one other thing I'm gonna really step out of the stationery and show you, but let me let me show you this washi real quick here. Um, I just really thought this was cute. They they had some washi, but not a whole lot of washi. Um, but the reason I got this is because it has a that has a little apples that say thank you very much. And I, I just really thought that might be cute to put on packaging. And so um, this is the washi I got. I was going to kind of pull some of this off and see what it felt like. Um, it's kind of a see-through washi. But yeah, it's just got these cute little apples. And then the other one has little birds that say this off have a good time I think yeah have a good time and so that was really all the washi that I bought but now this one I'm just preparing you I'm just showing you how all the cute stuff they have my daughter felt like she had to have this and adult for a dollar fifty you can't pass it up but this is it yes if you think this is a toilet bowl brush cleaner you are right it is a toilet brush that you clean your a brush that you clean your toilet with um, but she just thought it was the cutest thing because it had pink polka dots and it matched her bathroom. And she said, Mom, I need a new one of these. I said, oh, does that mean you're going to clean the toilet now? And so maybe this will actually get her to clean the toilet. <laughs> but anyway, I just had to share because, like I said, they had the cutest stuff there. And I really, um, really want to go back. I mean, I think actually looking at all my stuff, I think I did pretty good and I didn't overspend. And I actually got some gifts for friends. So... Um, I think I actually did pretty good there. And then beyond, I didn't bring out any of the food items. It's like containers and dish, like she bought like this little spoon and fork set and things like that. But lots of cute stationery. So um, I hope to go back again. And if you have one in your area that you can drive to daily, uh, lucky. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for stopping in and I will see you in my next video.